Ah. Hey, my heads, my name is Razid. Why'd you say may heads like there's multiple bartenders? I don't know. Anyway, what do you want? We got beer, probably whiskey, water, 3D Ultra Pinball, The Lost Continent. We got it all. I'll take dementia. This is a bar. I'm at a crossroads here. Never since I finished The Outer Wilds, I've really wanted to review it. Not to be confused with The Outer Worlds, the RPG by Obsidian. This is not that. But the thing is, this is a game that you have to go into as blind as possible. So it's been hard to find a way to do a good review that doesn't spoil it, but it's still fun to watch. But then, an idea came to me. Wait, I can talk about games while not talking about games? Yeah. So now I'm gonna review The Outer Wilds, but in the most vague way I can. So, awful spoiler warning, I guess. I will talk about something that happens in this game, probably. Outer Wilds is a video game. It was developed at one point, and it sold at least four copies, and it cemented itself as one of the stories that was told in a form of media at one point. It has at least a 4% on Metacritic, and I like the number 4. Important. There have been moments in video games that were good. Like that one moment in that one game, and that other moment in that other game. But the moment in Outer Wilds, you know, the moment made me realize that was a good moment. The universe happened, and then there were some people who also existed and chased a thing and ended up in some solar system. Some of them died, some didn't. The survivors met at some point and created things, cool things that are important. One of the creations chases a thing, the other revolves around time, and then they died due to something. Then you existed. What? You wake up at a time and talk to people and look at a statue and then the statue looks at you. And then you enter a vehicle and explore a thing, finding remnants of the people that were there before you and you put the pieces together, finding out their secrets and finding out how they made a certain amount of time exist over and over again constantly. And also, something happens every 22 minutes. The story in Outer Wilds is a story. You learn everything in the game by learning it. When I put the pieces together in the story of this game, I was like, wow. I put the pieces together in the story of this game. When I got to the end of the game, I felt an emotion. But the end of this game isn't the best part of the game. It's actually the game. Getting to the end was truly where this game was a game. The story was sad, but very good. And it had revelations in them that when I realized them, I realized them. Never did I know time could be so captivating. This is incredible! Hey, what's that? The core gameplay of Outer Wilds is gameplay. The core gameplay isn't as strong as the gameplay in some other game that exists, but it's fun and I like doing stuff that I did in the game. Where the gameplay shines is where it shines. First, this game is a subversion of a trope. Most games using this trope do it in a way, which is fine, it would be weird if they did it other ways. Outer Wilds does it in a different way and it works. Seventh, this is the second point. The game shines when its gameplay tells its story. When you play the game and you find out the story, it's a feeling. It's a feeling I don't feel from other games, because it's a feeling that I don't feel from other games. This game has graphics. The music made me feel an emotion a few times. That one song that plays at a specific time in the game, every time, is scary. When that thing happens in the game, the sound design is incredible. The sound design all the time is sound design that is great, but it is more than great there. The game has sound. Truly, when I played Outer Wilds, I walked away from the experience knowing that I just played Outer Wilds. It's a game that will make you realize it exists. 10 out of 10. Masterpiece. Genuinely the best game ever made in my opinion. So that review probably didn't make much sense. That's the point though. If you haven't played this game but watched this video, I hope you walked away wondering what the fuck you just watched and went to either go play the game or experience it some other way. Obviously not everyone can play this game, but if you ever think you will, I urge you to not look anything up. Go in as blind as possible. It's not gonna be a game for everyone, which is obviously fine. Even though as a reviewer I have to act like my opinion is the only one and it's the right opinion and anyone who disagrees with me is stupid. But for those who will enjoy it, I think they'll really enjoy it. Anyway, back to work on trying to lose my memories so I can experience this game for the first time again. It would also help since I'd be able to forget I played The Simpsons Hit and Run. I want to live in that reality. I want the trauma to go away.